Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's going on? What happened? What's up? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Tim Morris, and today we are talking about drum tuning, baby. Now, see, when I first got drums, I didn't really care how they sounded. I just wanted to learn how to play them. That was all I really had in mind. Um, but then eventually, you know, as I kept drumming, I started to be able to tell the difference between, I guess, a, a good sounding kit and a bad sounding kit. And I guess in my eyes, because I put myself down about everything, uh, I just believed that my drums just sounded terrible. And on one hand, they obviously didn't sound the best, and that's partially because I didn't know how to tune them. So instead of you guys having to go through not knowing how to tune them, so let me just show you the ways, okay? So, starting from scratch. You don't you don't have to do this, but this is something I always like to do. Good time to get everything cleaned up. Then I'm gonna lay out all the drums and I'm just gonna take off all of the drum heads. And this is also a good time to clean the inside of your drums. Uh, now we have everything laid out and I'm basically gonna go around and I'm gonna just put whatever new heads or the old heads or whatever heads back on and I'm gonna get everything finger tight with the tension rod. If you don't know what I mean by getting the tension rods finger tight, one, get the words finger and tight out of your dirty noggin, you weirdo. Basically what it means is instead of using your drum key to tighten the tension rod, you're just going to use your fingers and you're just going to get everything, like I said, finger tight. So this way everything's kind of just at a flat tuning, which is kind of the base that we want because after this, we're basically almost there. All right, so we're going to start with the bass drum and we're going to start with the batter head and then we'll go to the resonant head after. So use the bottom of your hand and put it in the center of the drum head. So you're kind of giving it a little bit of pressure and you're gonna see wrinkles form around the edges of the drum head. And while you're keeping the pressure with the one hand, you're gonna use your other hand to go clockwise around the hoop, um, tuning each of the tension rods until you see the wrinkles go away. But here's the thing. So as soon as you see the wrinkles go away, I want you to loosen that tension rod just until you see the wrinkles come back just a tiny little bit. So the second you see a wrinkle form, just go to the next lug and repeat the same thing. Now we're gonna flip over the bass drum and on the resonant head, I want you to do the same thing, hand in the center, a little bit of pressure, use the other hand to tune away any wrinkles, but this time, don't bring the wrinkles back, just go past it. You want the resonant head to be just a little bit tighter. So the toms, it's almost the same rule as the bass drum with the resonant head. So once again, you're gonna put slight pressure on the center of the head, see the wrinkles form, one hand pressure, other hand, tune out those wrinkles and do that to both the batter and the resonant head. And then finally, the snare drum. So this one's probably the most important. I struggled with tuning my snare drum for a long while and it took me a while until I really got this right. So I'm gonna make this as simple as possible. So on both the resonant and the batter head of the snare drum, I want you to tune each lug two times. We just wanna kinda of get things a little bit evened out on the snare drum because the snare drum is always the one that's gonna usually generally have the tightest head. So after they're both tuned up with about two turns each, then stay on the resonant head and make sure you put your snare wires on. Now, I don't know about you, if you're ever feeling like you're having any issues putting on your snare wires evenly, I'm probably planning on making a separate video on that because that was something that I kind of always struggled with. So if you are struggling with that and you want me to make a video, just let me know in the comments and I will 100% do that. Now, once the snare wires are on evenly, then I want you to tighten the resonant head and basically get it as tight as you can. You don't need to use all the strength in the world, just get it generally as tight as you can. So now we basically got everything set up, so I'm gonna get my kit set back up. So now, all you gotta really think is, do you want the drums to be higher in pitch or lower in pitch? And all you gotta do is the exact way I showed you to tune the drums by going clockwise, do that same pattern, but all you gotta do is loosen or tighten each tension rod, both top and bottom for the toms, and only on the batter heads for the snare drum and the bass drum head. So if you want the toms to be a higher pitch or a lower pitch on both top and bottom heads on the tension rods, either loosen them or tighten them. And then for the bass drum and the snare drum, if you want that bass drum to be a little bit fatter and beefier, then loosen the tension rods on the batter head of the bass drum or tighten them if you want it to be higher. And same thing for the snare drum, do nothing with the resonant head and on top, you're either gonna tighten or loosen the tension rods. And after you do that, now you can just play around with your drum sound and, uh, yeah, so here they are tuned.
and that's basically it. It's that simple. So if there's anything that I went over in the video that you think I could elaborate on more, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section and I promise you, I'm gonna get back to you and tell you exactly what you need to do. So if you're a drummer, a musician, or a music lover, you best hit that subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? Also, keep an eye out for that subscribe button because he robbed me last week and we need to find him now. Maybe tell your friends to all join in, come to the channel and hit that subscribe button, you know what I'm saying, 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 you know what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? <laughs>